all the time we have for sports. Let's send it over to meteorologist Joseph Dames for a look at the rest of our holiday weekend weather. AJ with a stellar hoodie on and I hope she's having a wonderful Christmas. Uh, we have, you know, a lot going on today. It was kind of a busy day as far as weather goes, not only here in the valley and the coast, but some locations seeing some snowfall. But tonight I want to start us off on Mount Hood Meadows where there's some skiers and some snowboarders for tonight. That'd be a fun tradition. 29 degrees. A uh, lovely view there. You can see uh, some folks going down the slopes there. Uh, they did pick up some snowfall. Mountain Meadows, Timberline, Ski Bowl, and Bachelor. So today would have been a good day to get up there and uh, enjoy maybe some new skis or a new snowboard or uh, maybe some old stuff that you like to, to get out there and, and use. All right, so we have a Holiday Lights Contest winner. Um, this Friday, the photo winner is John Oh, Andriotti, I'm going to go with from uh, Sandy, and uh, the title is Sandy Lights uh, for Christmas. So I love the shot there. Oodles and oodles of lights. Beautiful sight. If you can tell me that artist, uh, bonus points to you. Love the sweaters as well, guys. So uh, you folks are the winners. And uh, if you want, you could submit your photos, and uh, you could win admission to uh, the Winter Wonderland at PIR. I believe we have a little more time with that left. Okay, so I want to show you the Dallas tonight. Notice that the snowfall there along the bank. It's been pretty snowy in the gorge. If you're doing any sort of late night travel uh, through areas of I-84, about Hood River to the east, maybe even a little bit farther to the west there, out towards Cascade Locks, you'll probably be dealing with some uh, slick conditions for tonight. Beautiful view, though, coming out of our Columbia Gorge Community College camera. You can see 31 degrees down there, some snow and all the lights. Just a wonderful sight. Area of low pressure right here as it does travel to the north. More rain and kind of gusty conditions out there as well. And I do expect uh, the wind to pick up right around Portland. Heaviest of rain through the coast range and it is moving through the counties here into the valley. Starting to pick up for areas probably closer to Shorewood. Um, and uh, we'll see some of the heavier rain probably here in Portland here shortly. Uh, we are well below with the projected totals from the models, so I think this rain this evening will get us a little bit closer. All right, winter weather advisory is still there for the gorge and that special weather statement because of the chance for some frozen precipitation, kind of a wintry mix, uh, maybe some freezing rain and some sleet as some warmer air kind of moves in aloft, but still pretty cold at the surface. You see the future cast here, we could continue to have uh, some rain showers on and off through the night. Uh, by Saturday morning, we still have a little bit of rain and some snowfall uh, for the mountains. So if you had plans to get up on the mountains, this weekend, I think it's a good weekend to do it. If you're hoping for a drier day, uh, that will fall on Sunday, uh, but you'll get some fresh snow for your Saturday, which should feel pretty nice. All right, Sunday here by uh, 10 p.m. We start seeing some clouds, but I, I think uh, it's not going to be much. Uh, by Monday, I think we have some dry time. You can see right here, Sunday and Monday, pretty dry um, outside of those showers on Saturday. And then we pick up uh, a little more rain on Tuesday and Wednesday and probably heading into... Uh, the new year there, you can see uh, that forecast, temperatures in the upper 40s. So seven day forecast, if you're looking for some dry time, it's going to be Sunday and Monday. I am watching late Tuesday night into Wednesday for maybe a cold rain and a mixture of some, uh, uh, maybe some snowflakes, a little bit higher, 500 to 1,000 feet. That's something that we're going to keep our eye on. It's going to be Saturday, or rather Tuesday evening. Uh, other than that, temperatures in the upper 40s to start the new year. All right, keep it right here. We'll be back after the break.